Family law is like the rule book for everything that concerns family matters. Think of it as the guidelines for how to play fam the family game. It has to be played fairly. It helps the area of the law that helps people sort all of the complicated stuff that can happen in families, like divorces, uh, child custody battles, um, and even issues of domestic abuse. Imagine you're in a sports game where everybody makes up their own rules. It'd be chaos, right? The same goes for family issues. Without a set of guidelines, there'd be, well, there'd be arguing, a lot of arguing, with no real way to settle disputes. That's where family law comes in. It offers solutions and paths to resolve these matters, making sure everybody gets a fair shake, especially the kids. The courts do not care for the mother or the father. The priority is the, is the children. And here's why family law is so important. It keeps things fair. Just like a referee in a sports game, family law ensures everybody is uh, playing by the same rules. This is vital when assets and responsibilities like kids or property are being divided during a, well, during a divorce, a breakup of a family. It's very easy to lose the child focused um, approach in this, which is in any divorce or custody issue, the family law puts the welfare of the child first. It ensures they have a safe and comforting environment and access to both parents, if possible, providing it safe to do so. Protection. Now, family law can step in when things get dangerous. It provides measures such as restraining orders to keep families, well, to keep families safe from domestic violence. Clarity and finality. Family law can give you a roadmap, a blueprint for how to proceed in, in your confusing situations. Once, in, uh, once a court decision is made, it's usually final, allowing everybody to move on and get on with their lives. This does not always work because court orders are not always followed. Another one is guidance. Whether you're adopting a child or planning your will, family law provides the rules and guidance to make sure everything is above board, leaving no room for doubt or disputes down the line. Again, that doesn't always work because as much as it should do, if you've got people who are not following the court orders, then it's not gonna work. In a nutshell, family law is essential because it provides the rules and structure for everybody to resolve the most personal and emotional disputes. Always keeping the children at the best, the best interest of the children at the center of everything that they are, that, that do, that you do and any decision that's made. Now, within this, you're going to be speaking to CAFCAS. Succeeding in a CAFCAS interview, now CAFCAS is a Children and Family Court Advisory and Support Service interview. The safeguarding interview, initial safeguarding interview, is crucial for achieving positive outcomes in family court, mainly uh, where child welfare is concerned. Now, here are 10 original ideas on how to prepare and deliver a successful CAFCAS interview. Number one, create a life timeline. Now, write a timeline of significant life events relevant to the case before the interview. And this will give you uh, a straightforward uh, narrative that you can uh, present, making it easier for the uh, CAFCAS officer to follow and understand your point. Number two, is quite important. Now, this is emotion regulation. Uh, emotion regulation techniques can be, you can use, uh, generally gonna be mindfulness uh, or deep breathing exercises to manage stress and anxiety before, during, and during the interview. Be calm, and this will help you articulate your, your thoughts better and show that you can manage your emotions. This is imperative and a critical point and factor in any child welfare case, managing your emotions. The speak uh, technique, S, it, this is a structure, it's structure your points using the speak, S-P-E-A-K technique. Situation, position, evidence, um, acknowledge and keep. 
This helps to present uh, your case in an um, organised way, making it easier for the CAFCAS officer to uh, follow your points and your logic. Number three, all good McKenzie friends should offer mock interviews. A mock interview with a McKenzie friend will help you understand what the CAFCAS officer could be looking for, providing you invaluable feedback and helping you understand what you could say and do better to present your case. It will also offer you an insight as to what the CAFCAS officer will be looking for. Now we've also got case study references. Now be prepared to cite real life case studies or legal proceedings to carry more weight to your argument. It will show that you uh, have done your research and it, and it basically it can provide a legal context for your position and it substantiates your argument a little bit stronger with the CAFCAS officer. Interactive child's profile. You can create an interactive profile of your child, whether it be online, and I'll suggest it being online, including videos, photos, um, or documents that provide a 360 degree view of their life, interests, and their needs. Make sure to relate everything to their best interest. You've also got empathy statements. Now, you can prepare empathy statements uh, concerning the other party, even if you disagree with them. Now, this is really important, showing it shows that you can and you do have the understanding of their point of view, however you disagree with it. This can be an asset in showcasing your willingness to work with and to, with the other party and towards a solution for the child's best interest. The welfare checklist. The welfare checklist points are vital. These are your Bible. Uh, Familiarise yourself with the welfare checklist that CAFCAS uses and the courts use to make final decisions. Prepare and address each point proactively. Make sure to have evidence or examples of uh, each factor that you use. This will be a huge benefit during your interview. Something I do a lot of is objective feedback loop. Now, after providing your perspective, ask CAF, the CAFCAS officer for their preliminary thoughts or whether they need any further clarification on points. This will show, it shows your openness to working with them and engaging in dialogue uh, and hopefully will allow them to share their email address and contact details with you as well. Providing they have left you their contact details, you can um, thank, you give, leave them a thank you note with a summary. So after the interview, send them a polite uh, thank you note with the, to the CAFCAS officer and a concise summary to the key points discussed. This leaves a good impression and reinforces your position in writing, making it harder for them to write something that you have not said. Now, each of these strategies showcases your commitment to the child's best interest. This is vital and it also shows your capability to provide a stable, nurturing environment for them. Good preparation um, and a thoughtful approach is definitely can be significant in making a difference in the outcome of the report itself.